I do want to say too, like shout out to Megan, who is at Success Club 14 right now, which is amazing. And she's helping all the people get started with MM100. And I know we have a ton of women on the call that are committed to doing MM100 together with us as a team. We just started prep week. Um, we also got Kaylin on here who is continuing to share tips on her, her Instagram and really put herself out there. And I'm really proud of her. I know Alyssa is a new coach that already started posting on her social media. So amazing job. Um, I know Hannah and Tiffany, ever since Summit, they are committed to just really getting back into the business side. And they're in our push group that we have going on right now. Hello. So. Um, Everyone is just doing a phenomenal job and I'm really excited for you guys. I feel like the momentum is back and I think, you know, if you're new, this is a perfect time to be a part of the journey because once school comes back and then it's the holidays and then it's new year's like this is our time. Like the end of the end of the year is a huge shift for anybody in the health and fitness world. So definitely we got a lot of exciting things coming up too that um, will, will help you just get to know the team better and grow your business and all that stuff. So anyways, enough of that. Um, I am so excited to have Shelby speak on the call because I feel like you guys will really relate to her story and she has had an amazing transformation over the past year, not only physically, but mentally, spiritually, like her, her whole being is just shining now and it's just been amazing to watch. And you know, she's going Emerald this week on Thursday. She'll be officially an Emerald coach. So proud of her. Um, she's done such a great job. Megan's been an amazing leader for her, but you know what? She's doing the work now and she's making it happen. And so at first I want her, I'm going to kind of just like have a few topics that I want her to share with you guys, just so you can hear her story and, and what's going on with her right now and, and how the business is going for her and how it's changed her life so far. So first I want Shelby, I want you to just kind of tell more about your story, who you are, your, your trans, you know, where, where you've been when you first found Beachbody through Megan, um, and why you decided to become a coach. So kind of give the background for anybody who might not know your whole story. Okay. So for me, I, I know most of you, but some of you, I do not. So my name is Shelby and obviously, and I'm a stay at home mom of two. Um, when Megan first approached me about Beachbody, I was about nine months postpartum with my daughter. Um, and it actually took Megan a couple times of asking me even before I had my daughter to really get me committed to Beachbody. Um, initially I had just signed up as a customer. I was not a coach. This was back last July. So I've been on Beachbody for about a year now and I didn't sign up to be a coach until the following or the next October. So it was in October. Um, but when Megan approached me about joining Beachbody, I was in a dark, dark place in my life. Um, I was suffering from severe postpartum anxiety and depression, and I was overweight. I had recently just gotten engaged. So it was a big push for me to finally jump on the train and start my health and fitness journey. Um, I was very reluctant, reluctant at first to do it. But um, I'm really glad that I started. I started with Lift 4, um, which was like, it's my favorite program ever. And I seen amazing results with that. Um, but it was only a physical transformation at that point. It wasn't until I became a coach that really my mental and spiritual um, transformation began. Because I, I was just kind of going through the motions. I wasn't really... Um, doing much personal development up until I became a coach. Um, so the postpartum journey, as far as doing lift four was great. I was losing weight. I felt good. I was ready for my wedding. Um, but the spiritual and the mental aspect of it didn't come until much, much later. Um, yeah. <laughs> Did that touch on it? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like, yeah, you've done a really good job too of starting to share like how you've been overcoming anxiety and all this stuff and how you were in a dark place then, but how it's really helped you. And I guess maybe touch on more of what about coaching has helped really with the, the total transformation? What about it has helped that? 
So when I started to coach, it was a lot, um, the community of women here really are focused on personal development. You know, it's reading your personal development, whether it's uh, motivational or it's a spiritual, your daily devotion. And before coaching, I didn't have any kind of idea on where to start with that. Um, so since I was started coaching in October, I have really dove into doing daily devotionals. Uh, that has helped me spiritually so much um, because I am a very spiritual person. I um, love to seek the Lord and it helped me to get back on my journey with that. And it also, um, reading personal development that is motivating and inspiring has made me come out of my shell because I'm a very introverted person and I don't reach out to people. I don't like to make myself known when I'm like out and about. So reading the personal development um, has helped me grow. And being a coach has also helped me to really put myself out there because obviously as coaches, we share our life on on social media, sorry, every day. And I never thought that I would be that type of person to do that because my life and where I was at, I was in such a weird, dark like place. I was like, no one wants to hear me talk about how sad I am all the time or how depressed I am and me going through this journey of being better. I, I thought that this was just like, no one's going to listen to me. No one cares. I'm the only one that's going through this, you know? So being a coach has tremendously helped me become outgoing, not outgoing, but more social. And I've become more engaged in a community of people that are like-minded like me, that are struggling with me. I've, I've, people have reached out to me that, that are saying, you know, I'm in a dark place too. And watching you go through this has helped me see that I can seek out help. I can find the light at the end of the tunnel. And it, I wouldn't be able to help people like that if it wasn't for coaching. No one would know about my struggles, you know, whether they care or not, that's up to them. But getting it out for me and just saying, hey, I have postpartum anxiety. I deal with depression. I am still living with depression. I just have the tools now that coaching gave me to not dive into that deep depression that I was in before. That's awesome. Sorry, I was, I was muted. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that just gave me like the chills. I'm so proud of you. And I'm just so glad that it's giving you that, that outlet and that the tools, like you said, it's giving you the tools. And I think too, you've done a really good job of really getting connected with the team, showing up to team events, showing up on team calls um, consistently. And I think that's, you know, really when I started to see even more of a transformation with you too, is because you were getting connected into the community as well. And I think it was just, it's just like the total, I mean, think about, think about how we help people get results. It's the total package. It's the Shakeology, the supplements, the nutrition, and the workouts all together. That's the same way with coaching. It's the personal development, the team community, um, and every, and then the fitness part and nutrition part too, all together. So I think that's a huge reason why, and I think it's, you know, you've gotten out of your comfort zone. You've shared more about what's going on and you did share the beginning. You started to share the beginning when you were still really working through it. And obviously you're always, we're always a work in progress, but I just feel like you've done a really good job this whole year. That's, sharing more. that's the whole thing with, um, I want to tell you ladies with the coaching, um, with me, I went through a deep, uh, back in January, when I got married, I kind of took a break from coaching. Um, and that was because I was, I was so stressed and I was in a deep, um, like emotional state that I just wasn't, I didn't want to share. And my biggest thing to tell you guys is share it, share it because someone is watching you. Anybody is watching, like everybody is watching you and you don't think that they are, but they really are. And they're invested in your journey. And if you just disappear, they're not going to, and you come back and you just, you know, you say, oh, I went through this. They might understand it, but people will relate to you more. And they're, it might take a long time for someone to reach out to you or for someone to be like, okay, I'm ready. But if you stay consistent with your, with sharing your journey, sharing your life, you might not have anything exciting happen to you. You might just be going through day-to-day -day stuff. Who cares? Share it because someone will get a takeaway from it and it might help them whether they say it or not. So it's huge to not ever, to never give up. 
never stop sharing your journey because someone out there is going to need it. And that's the biggest thing that I've learned recently is you just show up and you do and you be the product of the product. As cliche as that sounds, it is the only reason why I lately have been getting traction because I've been so consistent with sharing just the dumb everyday things that happen to me. Um, and staying so consistent is the biggest thing that is going to help you with your business. And I mean, I'm only ranked, not only, I won't say that. Don't say only. I, I just ranked up to Emerald, which is, you know, it's the baby, it's the baby rank. It's the I beginning. Guess. It's the beginning. But it's very, very exciting. And I wouldn't have been able to do it if I didn't stay consistent with myself these last two, three months. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's, Shelby's dropping so many nuggets right now, you guys, <laughs> which I knew she would. I knew she would. Um, and what was, I had a point and now I'm trying to remember. Um, but yeah, consistency for sure. Oh, this is what I, I actually was talking to someone today who reached out to me and wanted to know more about the business. And we got in a video chat and I literally said, and she kind of said too, she was kind of telling me about her background and things she's been through. And, and I said, yeah, it's scary to share things that you've been through or that you're, you're working through, but that's when you connect with people. That's when people do not, people literally do not relate to the end result. People do not relate to the after as much as they relate to the before and the during. So um, this is what I always tell coaches too. You do not need your transformation to start coaching. You should start where you're at because people are going to relate to you so much more when you're at the before and when you're in the, in the middle. They're not going to relate to here I am now, I have six pack abs and, and no care in the world, no worries in the world. They're not going to relate to that. They're going to relate to the beginning and the journey that gets you to that, that destination that you want to get to. And then seeing what you go through, you know, in your life after that. So, um, I mean, you just, you don't need to be perfect and you don't need to have that transformation yet because the people are going to connect to you when you're being real, when you're being authentic, when you're in the struggle. And yeah, you don't have to share every little detail, but just sharing little bits and pieces of this is where I'm at right now and I'm working on it. And then you work on it and you can share what's helping you. And then they're going to be like, wow, I actually am getting so much value from this person because she struggles with anxiety, but she's helping me learn how to, how to deal with it and how to improve it and how to, you know, whatever, whatever thing you're, you're going through that you're working through. And I think that's what coaches do really well is we share the struggles and the ups and downs, but we also share how we're going to improve it and how we're going to work through it and how we can help people do it too. So that's, that's what I always tell people is it's okay to share the struggle and it's, and it's scary at first, but that one message from someone saying, thank you for sharing because I know I'm not alone or thank you for sharing that tip because now I'm seeing a therapist and it's starting to change my life or whatever. I'm just using that as an example because that's kind of true to me too. But um, I'm just saying you, you don't think about yourself. Don't think about yourself when you are posting. Don't think about what other people are going to think about you because you're making it about yourself. Think about the people that need to hear it. Think about the people that you could help on the other end. Think about, I think for Shelby, I mean, think about if Megan would have never introduced you to any of this. What, yeah. what do you that think was, when you hear that? So I, it makes me want to cry. It, I, I get really emotional when I think about it because I tell Megan this all the time. Like she, this, this has literally saved my life. Like I was at the point in my life where I was like, I do not want to exist anymore. Nobody cares. I don't care. And it was that one moment where she was like, you just need to do it. And I was like, okay. And that was the beginning of me becoming more mentally or the mental health of my, of my life became better because all because she never gave up on me. And that's what we do as coaches is people will tell us a hundred times, no, but and you don't want to hound them and be, you know, but you want to be able to stay consistent with them because you will be saving somebody's life. At one point in your coaching career, you will actually save somebody's life. And that's what Megan did for me. She saved my life. 
Wow. I feel like I'm like tearing up. It might be the pregnancy hormones, but still that was like really deep and uh, beautiful to be honest. And, and that's the thing, like you just never know. And I'm so glad that Megan never gave up on you and you never gave up on yourself. And uh, you know, that's the thing, like you just never know that. And I always too, I try my best for the people that say no a tons of time ton of tons of times, whatever. I try to still, if they're still watching my stories, if they're still commenting or liking my stuff, I like to just check in on them and just say, Hey, how are you? I hope all is well. And it's not, I don't have an agenda. I'm not following up with them for the third time or 10th time or whatever. I'm actually just saying like, Hey, I hope you're doing okay. I ho hope everything is well. Or like commenting on, they just bought a house. Like congratulations. That's amazing. Or whatever. So I think just making, we're all, we're all about like caring about people and this, this business, this company, this community, it's just about caring about others. And every time you share something that you've gone through or that you're working through, you are going to be helping somebody else. And that's about, that's caring. That's, a, that's, I mean, how, how much, what a, what a great way to care about others by letting them know that they aren't alone in their struggle. So uh, I think that's awesome. And Shelby's doing a great job of sharing all those kind of things and, and whatnot. So I, I keep it up. Um, I also want Shelby to share with you guys her summit experience because this is her first time going to Beachbody Summit. And if you guys don't know what that is, it was two weekends ago now almost, which is crazy. I'm already, I'm still sad that it's over. And that's our annual conference that we have once a year where all coaches come together. We do workouts together. We do trainings together, business trainings. We do team events. We shop for, for all the goodies. We see Joel with his shirt off working out with us, you know, all that stuff. So <laughs> um, I want her to share her experience from being her first time and what she thought of it and how it's, how it's kind of amped her up since then and all this stuff. So Okay, yeah, I just got a little hot thinking about Joel for a second. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, okay, so that's my husband. Sorry. Um, so with Summit, I bought my ticket back in October when I first signed up to be a coach. Okay, so it's like, that's a long time between buying my ticket and Summit. So between then, I was like, I don't really want to go. Like, I don't think I belong there, all this stuff. And oh my gosh, I'm telling you, you need to go to Summit because this is like mind-blowing stuff, okay? I cannot believe that I got to experience this community of people. Everybody there is just like rooting for you. And it, it makes your heart explode being there because it's not just all the inspiration that you're getting. You're, you're standing around people that have had amazing life changing transformations and you feel like you belong there. Whether you are just starting out and don't really have any kind of transformation to the top coach who you know, you're, you're like sitting there like, wow, you know, and when we're sitting inside the, the general sessions, that's where all the coaches are inside of the auditorium or not our, the stadium. Um, you're sitting there and I lost my point. You're sitting there and you're watching the top coach. Okay. They're, they're recognizing all these top coaches and I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, why not me? I said it when I first signed up, why not me? Why can't I get a transformation? And now I'm sitting at summit thinking, why not me? Why can't I be on that stage? And you know what? I can, you can, we all can, because at, when you go to summit, anything is possible. You get that, you get that drive in you and you just feel so encouraged, so empowered. The keynote speakers there were amazing. Everybody who gave uh, speeches and who was talking to you during all the sessions, it was you can't, you can't process it all at, at that time. You really got to let it soak in days afterwards because there's so much going on and it's so encouraging and empowering. And it's, it's a life changing event. It really is. I came home a different person. I came home more motivated, more ready to build my business, more ready to take on life. And it, it really just brought positivity to my life. And it was just like, I, you can't explain Summit. I hope I kind of explained it well enough because it is just such a powerful community, even like with just our team there. Like I felt like I really got to know our team and connect yeah. with all the ladies that we went with. And it was just the best experience of my life. I've never been to a 
conference. I've never been to a conference period, but I've never been to an event that left me so full. That was a perfect way to describe it. And I love that. I, I love hearing it because that was my third summit. So I love hearing it from someone who just went to, to and to know that they got the experience that I hoped that they would and that I know that you all can have next year in New Orleans. So um, yeah, we're going to go to the big easy. We're going to sweat our butts off, but we're going to do it together. So yeah. Um, and I'm so excited for everyone to experience it next year. But yeah, it is just... It is in, you really can't describe it until you go, but uh, I think honestly, hanging out as a team together, having people meet for the first time, Hannah, I finally got to meet and hug in person and um, uh, cause she lives in Florida and I'm in Michigan and it was just amazing. But I, I'm so glad, like the fact that Shelby just said like, why not me? That's exactly how I felt last year at Summit. And then I literally just went to work and now I do this full time. So that's exactly how I felt too. And I'm so glad that you feel that way because literally this is possible for each and every one of us. There is no, you don't have to be a certain height. You don't have to be a certain gender. You don't have to be a certain uh, ethnicity. You don't have to live in a certain area. You don't have to have a certain amount of followers you can do anything that you set your mind to with this business no matter who you are so um i know that i know that that's possible for each and every one of you and that's why it's so important too to get to these events that we have we're gonna do more um for the local coaches team outings but obviously we always have these awesome team calls and no matter where you are there are events in your area every quarter and then we have like i said summit next year which the tickets are the lowest price right now so i would get your tickets now i mean why wait you you'll get it you'll save money and then we will have so much fun things planned for you next year but yeah i could tell that shelby was really soaking everything in while we were there and she was just really connecting with the team and and, and opening up and thinking about goals and ideas and all that stuff. So uh, I'm so glad that her experience was so good. And I just want you to kind of touch on like, what, what's your goals? What's your plans now? Like, what's your focus now? What are, you obviously said, why not me? So what are you thinking about this business going forward for you and your life and, and whatnot? All right. So my short term goal now is to be diamond and be diamond within like, weeks, literally weeks, because it's not impossible to build your team. It's not impossible to grow and see potential, you know, um, growth. Like it's, it's not impossible. So my biggest goal right now is to hit diamond within like two weeks, literally. Like I'm ready to just like hit the ground running and I'm sick of sitting Woo! around. I'm like, I'm, I don't know what this is. I was like trying to do like a fire thing. I don't know. Um, a lot of it too is that the biggest, um, a big goal of mine too is just to really start making bigger connections with people um, because connections are everything. You can invite everybody that you, you know, everyone and their grandmother, but until you make those good connections with people, you're not really going to grow your team. You, you can, it's not impossible, but to have a lasting team like I would, like I want, um, it's getting those really good connections going with people. So that's my, that's my stepping stone to get to diamond is hitting those connections super hard. And my biggest main goal out of the business in general, I have said it no, numerous times, but I would love to retire my husband because I am a stay at home mom. I don't actually, this is my job, but I don't go out to work and my husband's job is really hard on him. So I would love to eventually be able to support the family enough to where he can just say bye and retire him and have him home with us. But first let's get to diamond. <laughs> Oh my God. I absolutely love that. That is a huge why. And it's totally possible. There are so many women in this business have, that have retired their husbands. So, um, it's totally possible for anyone, but I am, I Shelby, I am just like floored at how confident you are right now. Like I knew you, you have, we had transformed and you had found this confidence, but you are speaking your affirmations out loud and boldly. And I just know that because you are having that mindset and that attitude, you are going to make diamond happen like very soon. And you're going to retire your husband one day. So, uh, I think, and I'm, and honestly, you guys, you don't get to that point in your mindset without doing the work. 
So clearly Shelby has really been on this journey the last year to work on herself physically and mentally. And then she went to summit and she really went all in while she was there and obviously going all in coming back. So if you feel like you don't feel that confident about yourself yet, that's totally, we've all been there, myself included, every single person on this call, but you can get to where Shelby is at right now. You can get to that point. You just got to work on yourself every day. Like just work on becoming a better you one step at a time. And like Shelby said, right now she's, she got to Emerald on Thursday. She's working on diamond next. Eventually it'll be another goal and another goal. And then eventually she'll get to that dream goal of retiring her husband, but you got to set those parameters until then. But I think honestly, the biggest thing that I've seen in this business for myself, for our team, for other people I've met that have been successful, it really is the mindset and the confidence. The belief that you can do it, the belief that it's possible for you, once you find that in yourself, you are unstoppable. So I know that maybe some of you are not feeling that way right now. You're so excited for Shelby, you're happy for her, but you're like, I still don't feel that way about myself, but you can get there. It's totally possible and you just gotta work on yourself every day and work on that personal development double, to be honest. And we're here to help. So if you feel like there's certain areas that you're you're struggling in or you're just feeling like it's you're you're being maybe you're pulling yourself back, holding yourself back, we can help. So reach out to us and we can definitely help. But I think it's really good for you to see that Shelby, what she's been through, where she was where she, where she was going and, and where she is now and where she's going next. And I really hope it inspired you guys. I just want to piggyback off that and say, do not compare your journey to my journey. Do not compare your journey to Ashley's journey or Megan's journey or Tiffany's journey. Nobody's journey, but your own. Because that was my biggest downfall in the beginning for me when I was just starting out as a coach is I would look at Megan and say, wow, look at her. She's doing all this stuff. Why can't I do that? Or I would look at Ashley and be like, oh my gosh, she's about to quit her job and I'm nowhere near that. Why can't I do that? Comparison is the death of joy. And if you're going to compare your life to all the other coaches out there, you're never going to achieve anything because it's your journey. It's your life. Nobody else's. So do not get down when you see, you know, someone that's in 10, 10 steps ahead of you. That's okay because they were where you're at and you will get there too. It just takes time. Do not compare your journey to anybody else's journey on this call because we are all rooting for everybody here, every stage that you're in. Not just, not just your big successes, but we're here for your downfalls and when things get rough for you. Like no one's judging you because you're not where you wanted to be or you don't think that you have it what it takes to be in the business because like at summit you belong here and you belong on this team on this call you're here for a reason and you belong here that's it do not compare your journey to anybody else's because that will be the death of your business there's no comparisons here we're all here for each other Amen. Seriously. It wasn't until I got over the comparison game that things started to shift for me. So that is so true. You cannot compare yourself to other coaches because you literally, it'll mess with your whole mindset. It'll mess with all your message, like your vibe to people, your posts, everything. And you'll try to be somebody you're not as well. So whenever we shout out other coaches, whenever we are celebrating other coaches, never look at it as, oh, why can't that be me? Like, as in like, oh, must be nice. Or uh, I could never do that. Look at it as that's something that's possible. If she can do it, so can I. And if there, and I will say too, if you're following a bunch of like top coaches, popular coaches, unfollow them, please. Unfollow as many coaches as possible other than our team. Um, I, I think our team is, we're so loving and caring and we do not want anybody comparing or judging each other. But the, when you follow really, really successful coaches, you can get very down on yourself so fast because it is just hard not to compare yourself to someone who is living the life you want when you're not even anywhere close to getting there yet. So, um, and you also get clouded. It, get, it clouds your creativity. They talked about that at Summit. Following top coaches clouds your creativity. You need to be focused on your voice, your message, your life, and how you can get that out to the world and how you can impact the world yourself. So yeah, please don't compare yourself to any of us. 
everything that we share is to show you what's possible and to, and to inspire you to know that it can happen for you too. So that's a great point, Shelby. I'm really glad you brought that up. And I know that we've all fallen into that, um, but just try your best to work through that. And, and, and there's books about comparison. There's, there's podcasts. There's so much out there. I know Rachel Hollis does a lot of stuff on, on that as well and can help you with that um, if you follow her. So definitely great point. Um, that was amazing, Shelby. Doesn't everyone like feel so inspired right now? I do. I feel so inspired. Um, let's see if anyone has any questions. I want to see what's in the chat. Um, oh, why won't it let me go up? It's timing and you never know when you may give them the best gift. Yeah. Ashley didn't give up on me. I'm so grateful. Oh, I'm so glad, Kaylin. I always knew you were, you were going to, you were ready once, when you were ready. So that's why I just always checked in on you and never gave up. Um, we love our Florida coaches. Yes, it's so funny, you guys. We have so many Michigan coaches and so many Florida coaches. It's hilarious. But then we have uh, Kayla's on here. She's in Ohio, which is basically almost Michigan. So close. Um, let's see. We, she will be on stage next year. You all will see, say how Chum, Summit changed his perspective, too. Oh, your husband's perspective. Yes. Wait, I, I'll touch on that for just one second. Yeah. Cause it's a pretty amazing. Um, so I got home from summit. I was talking to my husband and I was like, Oh, you'll never believe it. There was um, a couple up on stage that won an award cause they're working their business together. And he, he won't admit it cause he's too proud, but he's inspired AF. He was like, I'm going to, I'm going to build my team. Like I'm going to get to Emerald for you so you can become diamond. And he was like really into like trying to help my business. And in the same aspect, we're talking now that maybe he wants to work his business for real and actually start being a coach. So awesome. That is amazing. So he's super, yeah. super the whole mindset of the whole family has really changed since summit, just since summit two weeks. And it's been crazy, the inspiration that's been flowing out of this house. Love it. Love it. That is so awesome. Yeah, I feel like it can really change. Once, once your significant other um, understands what's, what's possible and understand, you know, maybe they might be hesitant at first. They might be totally against it at first. We can definitely help you guys with that. You can always message me um, or Megan. We both have st uh, stories, not similar, but sort of similar of how – maybe the spouse wasn't like, like all about it at first. They, they see the change in you and it changes your whole, it changes your marriage. It changes your, your family. It can just change everything for the better. So I love that Shelby. That's so awesome. And it's it, honestly the, the, the male demographic is so under, like there's barely any men coaches, but yeah, it was cool at summit. There was two couples that were recognized on stage together. And I thought that was amazing. I thought it was amazing. Like what business can, do you see that in anywhere else? You know, it's just, I mean, not many, not many. So I think it was amazing to see that those two couples out there and they have their own voices, their own platforms, their own, they do things together, but separate as well. So it's still their own together and separate. So I love that. Um, does anyone have any questions or anything they want to say? to Shelby or anything they want to say about or, or ask about now that we're, you know, we still have a few more minutes. Let's chat about whatever you want. Kaylin, you don't have to raise your hand. You could just talk. <laughs> I feel like I'm always like the first one to like, okay, comment. <laughs> no, I'm glad. I get, get the comment going. No, and it's like, I wanted to cry when Shelby was talking because I know, and she and I have had this conversation, like, I know that deep pain of postpartum depression and anxiety but like hearing you say it already like I'm past it's something we will always deal with something we will always live with like we have bad days like we said like our kids this past week like something was in the freaking air but like they don't make it any easier but to have hear someone else say it like they went through it the exact same times that you did and to already be okay three months ahead of where I may be at this point is huge so like it's not just random people that are watching it's also your own team that's going okay she's getting her shit together so so can I like it's inspiring for me and then also to see like all right someone else's kids can drive her nuts and she can still do this like 
<laughs> because as much as we love them, there are a lot sometimes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and it's, but it's, it's a lot. And it's to hear it from someone else too on your team to say like that, no, this is huge. And we're, yes, also watching everyone else and cheering, but also to say like, hey, I can do it too if she can. And it just makes you feel like, okay, maybe, just maybe, I think there's something there. Not maybe, there is. You got There this. is. You got <laughs> this. No maybes. You got there, this. There it is. Yes. Now that I got my freaking printer working that I've been doing this whole time, I've been listening, but I've been getting a new printer set up. Now, now we're good. <laughs> good. Yeah, I can print that tracker out. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. I literally got it printed. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so I just want to say that to like everyone. Yes, everyone's watching, but like your own team is like, hey, thanks. Like, for lack of a better word, thanks. Definitely. Yeah. I think that's, um, thank you for sharing that, Keelan. I'm so glad. I'm so happy to hear that. And yeah, I want us all to be sharing together too, because you never know who on the team you could be helping at that moment and, and, and impacting at that moment. So, I um, mean, you know, how lucky are we to be a part of a community that positively impacts our lives every day? Like, it's just insane. <laughs> so, I mean, I wake up almost every day being like, how is this real? How is this like my life now? And how is this who I get to be a part of and be around all the time? And I wake up every day and I'm like, okay, who am I going to help today? And not like in a way that's like, who's my next customer? Who's my next, you know, it's like legitimately like, who am I going to help today with, you know, I went through this yesterday. Who come, who am I going to help today? Like who's seen it that would, that would benefit from my post? Like it's a, it's more of like a positive, like who am I going to help today? Not a, who's going to be my next person. Because when you, when you think of it as everybody here obviously needs to have, or not needs to, but wants to make an income, right? Uh, that's why you are a coach. Um, but the main reason why you're a coach and when you focus on this more than the money, when you focus on who to help and who you're going to help, that's when your business is going to boom. Cause that's what happened with me. I stopped focusing so much on, I need to make an income. I need to make money. And you just focused on who am I going to help next? Seriously. Like my, I've had so many people come to me and be like, Oh, you know, what are you doing now? I seen you're going through this. I, I would like to have more information on that. And it was only when I stopped focusing on the the money part of the business obviously it's huge like don't get me wrong but when you really just put your mindset towards helping people that's when your business is just going to boom it's just going to boom because that's the you want to help people and that's what we're here for yes that is such a good point that is so true once you start just focusing on who can i impact who can i help focusing on them and not you cuz focusing on the money is is focusing on you and what you want so if you focus on them and what they need, then everything falls into place. And people that you are just helping with now by just giving them encouragement could be a customer later down the road. And it happens naturally and it happens the way it should because you're not forcing anything. You're not trying so hard. You're just being a light in the world and in their world. So I think that's a, such a great point. And I mean, honestly, everything Shelby is saying right now is 100% true. So I really hope you guys take that in. Um, I definitely encourage you guys on any team call to take notes, of any little things that pop in your head, either write it down or put it in your phone because it'll be good to like look back at later. Um, your impact on others will in, in turn impact your income. Yes, it will. It really will. And so I think just being that, like I said, being that light and not trying to force it, not focusing on success club numbers, not focusing on income, but focusing on who can I help today. And I also want to tell you guys, I don't know if you feel the same way. I don't know if this happens to you. I'm sure it does. But for me, I always get like, and I, I feel I'm very spiritual. Like I feel like it's God, it's like a God wink. Um, I always get a feeling about something when I feel when there's something that really needs to be shared. I just feel it in my gut and in my heart, like, whoa, I, you should share this. Even if you're scared, like you should say something on your stories about this. You, you know, you just get this feel, you do get this feeling. And I, I know all of us have been there where we just brush it off. We're too afraid. So we push it to the side, but then it comes back around again and it comes back around. And every time you have that gut feeling that this is something I should, this could impact somebody, or this is something I should really share. That's, I would say nine times out of 10, when I get messages, 
when I get people reaching out because, and yeah, maybe I'm shaking when I, when I'm about to record it, or maybe I have to record it 10 times because I fumbled through my words because it was kind of scary and vulnerable. But those are the things that people connect to. That's what sets you apart from so many other people that are coaches or so many other people that are on social media, because you're seeing stuff that's real and you're not sugarcoating and you're not fluffing it up and you're not acting like everything's rainbow and sunshines all the time. Can't even talk sunshines. Um, so, and also the silly stuff, the same goes for the silly, funny, hilarious stuff. If you're like, Oh, maybe someone would, would, would think this is hilarious. And then you second guess and say something, they're going to think it's stupid. No, that's what you need to share. Like the minute you think of something and you're like, Oh, I should share this. Don't think twice, just do it. Don't think they're going to think it's dumb or think it's going to be weird or whatever, because that's the stuff that people start just like cracking up about. And, and then you connect that way. I want to say something first. Well, obviously, I am so freaking proud of you, Shelby. This is your first call, and you, one, slayed, and two, just seeing your growth. I'm going to, okay, I'm not sure. Just seeing your growth from, um, just your growth in general, and then seeing you, like, light up like a little kid at Christmas. I mean, we all were at Summit, but just, like, turning and just, like, seeing your face was just so inspiring, too. <laughs> to someone who has been in the game a little bit longer than you, not long, not much longer, but um, it's those impacts too, like, okay, seriously, guys, if you don't know, she's my cousin, but um, also it's that coaching that you are in it because you want to change and make yourself a better person, and by you focusing on making yourself a better person, you are inevitably, if you're sharing it and being consistent with it, going to impact someone else around you, um, and it's those people, like, we are the people that, um, I mean, they said it, but as long as you're being consistent, the more consistent I see Shelby, the more, like, if she falls off her day, I'm like, what the heck happened, you know? And I'm, like, checking up on her. I'm like, what's going on? Do you, you know, like, you know, whatever. And that's, it's, she obviously is family, so that's a bad example. But, like, if Ashley doesn't say something, and you are a family, you know what I mean? Like, you become a family unit. And that's just what is so special about our community is, obviously, we are helping and we are here for an impact, but we are all here for each other. And if we just impact, like, if, if literally Shelby was the only person that I've ever helped, like, her impact enough is enough for me, you know? So the moment you change, she said it perfectly, your mindset from, oh my gosh, I need to sell something, to literally, I want to change someone's life. Like, who am I going to help today? Um, and I wish Jessica was on this call, too. There's, like, so many people on our team that their lives have just been changed by this. And it's all of you guys. They're watching you guys and we're all doing it together. It's not like one person. So never give up on yourself. Never stop sharing. Like she said, be consistent with you because if anything else, these 10 people in here are watching you too and you're helping them. Kaylin said it best too. So don't give up on yourself for you, but don't give up on yourself for everybody else in here too and anyone else watching this call after because you literally do have more of an impact than you know. Yeah, that awesome, Megan. That that was awesome. Um, and I agree. Like, if it if I just it, same thing. Like, if I just help everyone that's on this call, and and that's it. That's like look at how many people that is. That's even more than one. So I mean, that's amazing too. For me, I, that's I want to impact as many people as I possibly can the rest of my life. That's my goal and mission now. But at the beginning, it was just I want to help one person. And then I want to help two. And then I want to help three. And so I, yeah, just focus on the impact and not the numbers and it will all, it'll all fall into place. And I just, I really hope you guys are all so inspired by Shelby and we are excited to watch her continue on this journey. I can't wait to see her get to diamond next and to shout her out for that. Cause that will definitely be happening sooner rather than later. And I know that all of you on this call will be shouting out soon too, because you're all capable of all of your goals and dreams as well. So I can't wait for that. And um, yeah, this was an awesome team call. I am just like, woo. Like I said, the momentum on our team right now, the energy on our team right now is 
fire. So I'm so glad that you, anybody that's new, anyone that's getting re back engaged into the, to the team, this is literally, I just feel a shift so strongly and it's just going to be the rest of the year we're climbing. We're just going to be helping all the people impacting everybody and anybody we can. And I'm so excited to watch us just all soar together. Cause that's the coolest thing too. Like this is not an I business. This is a we business. Like this is like all of us together as a team, the same with our, who are helping. It's all a community and it's nothing is alone. Nothing is just about you. It's about us together. So, I mean, what better, part what, what better like community to be a part of than one that is all about each other you know so uh with that unless anybody has anything else any other questions any other anything um of course i have to get a picture of all of us and that's another thing too like you want to share that you're on these team calls people if you guys didn't watch or listen to or watch the national wake-up call today i highly encourage you watch it because it does help you learn how to talk about the business and share about the business and literally people have no idea what we do unless we share what we do so one of the ways to share what we do is just to say that you're masterminding, you're on this call with your team, you're connecting and learning together and just sharing. Then they see too, that it's not just you. It's, it's our team, it's our community and there's other women and we're all hanging out and we're all in this together. So that's another way. Um, I'll tag as many people as I can. Megan will tag everybody else if I don't have you. And you can just reshare that. But I always say, like, say something about it. Don't just, people are going to be like, what is this? I don't know. What is a team call? I don't know what that means. So just a quick description about what your what this is, like team training about, I don't know. I'm like, why am I fumbling on my words right now? Um, I'm like trying to give you guys an example and I can't even think of something. Um, just saying like, I mean, masterminding, talking about our goals and dreams, whatever, connecting with our team virtually, something like that. So sharing the little ins and outs like that will show people more about what we do and that we are a community that's connected to each other. So let me, let me get a picture. <laughs> Everyone get ready. I mean, you're fine the way you are. Is it a picture or a boomerang? I'm going to do a picture. Okay. But if someone wants to do a boomerang after me, they totally can. Okay. Hang on. All right. Smile. Let me see if I got everybody. Yep. Yeah. If someone wants to do a boomerang, they can. I'll do one. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. I, knew, I, I knew Megan was going to do it. That's why I said it. Like, like, I mean, she she got off this call. I made me and Juliana do one earlier, and she's like, "What the heck's a boomerang?" I was like, "Oh, Lordy, we got to get you into this." Okay, teach oh, I'm things. terrible at them. Absolutely terrible at them. Still, I have to record them awesome. all the time for sure. <laughs> got to not move my own hand. Okay, hold on. Do I have everybody in here? Okay, yeah, thank you. Make you guys bigger. All right. For those who don't know or aren't, I mean, Alyssa and the other, Kayla, is that your other one? Anyways, you don't need to make a face. You don't need to smile, but make a, one slow movement. <laughs> okay, ready? Set, go. Okay, we can do better. One more. Oh, boy. <laughs> I was either going to do the peace sign or this, and I feel like everyone did either or. So I'm like, change it up this time. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Everybody raise the roof. All right, sounds good. I'll tell you, Gail. All right, I'm ladies. So, I'm so proud of you. I know. Shelby, can we all give Shelby a round of hand? Of hand? Well, I can't. I can't. Round of applause. Round of applause. applause. Thank you. I'm <laughs> applauding everyone that came that showed up today. So I'm applauding yes. all you ladies because you showed yes. up and that's huge. Show up to these calls, listen to the team thing, everything. Show up because it, it's important. It's huge. Yes. Everyone that shows up is a go getter. So, yep. yep. And also, for those who are local here and who aren't, find your super weekend. Ours here is Friday. So, if you guys can show up to that at the Ohana Fitness in Shelby Township, um, as many people as you can to show up on your team and invite people who have even had a link of a thought of coaching because. Now's the time for them to see the community and to see you in it with your team. Um, so that's going to be huge for them. And there will be a workout 
and I'm 100 inspired and obviously whatever they have for us as far as what a team is, you know, coaching. And the next one for you guys who are interested in the next one too is going to be November. I believe they will announce the weekend this weekend in the video. So plenty of time for you guys to also plan for the fall event and to make sure you're there and to block that time out um, that weekend off so you can go to whatever event is local to you. I mean, I've driven two, almost three hours to go to some events. It's totally worth it. So um, there's definitely probably one anywhere close within like a two hour or less in your area. So that's, that's definitely something fun to go to. Even if you don't know anyone, every coach is, or almost every coach is friendly. So you will be able to meet other coaches and hang out with them. It doesn't matter what team you're on. We all talk to each other. That it doesn't matter. So, um, I feel like I thought of one more thing too. And now I forgot. Hmm. Oh, what I wanted to say about Shelby is this was Shelby's first call doing a presentation, doing a call with, our team. And I feel like she sounded like a pro. Like she okay. did. Well, I mean, I, I do, I, not to sound cocky, but I, I've been watching a lot of the, um, national wake up calls. I've been like, you know, taking cue. <laughs> like, I yeah, watch a lot you're of doing your work. You research. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, you sounded amazing. So you did a fantastic you. job. I do. I, I'm, I'm, I got, <laughs> Well, that, and again, okay, I know I, I go on and on, you guys. If you don't know me, I just talk forever. So, but the, what I do want to point out too, again, Shelby just keeps dropping these nuggets. She did her homework. She did her research. She did her, her work. And I will say that's what helped me too. I don't want you to only do trainings and that do is trainings. And then um, literally you don't do any action. You don't do any move your business forward because you could be a training junkie and watch every single video there is, but not do anything to invite or connect or follow up and then nothing happens. But in your, you do want to block off time to watch trainings and to learn how to speak about the business, about the products, about the programs. And again, like Shelby said, learning from seasoned coaches, how to speak, how to do this, or, or I just always get nuggets that I can share with you guys from trainings. So um, I think that's a really big point that Shelby just pointed out. And I think, I still think you would have sounded amazing either way, but that, I mean, you just <laughs> knocked it out of the park. So oh, I'm sweating to put this hair on. <laughs> Now you can breathe a sigh of relief, but you did amazing. So. I had fun, guys. I had fun. <laughs> and thank you again, everyone that showed up on this call. I hope you got a lot out of it. And just use this momentum and inspiration for the rest of the week. Don't go to bed and forget about it. Wake up tomorrow morning, jump out of bed, and be excited to make an impact tomorrow. Who are we going to help tomorrow? Who are you going to help tomorrow? Ooh. Woo. Love it. Use those coupon codes. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right. Have a great night. And oh yeah, if you don't know what the promo codes are, ask your upline. We can explain. Um, but you should have got an email and there's a bunch of training on it too. So watch the national wake up call too. But um, anyways, have a great night, everybody. And like Shelby said, who are you going to impact tomorrow? Go to bed thinking about it and wake up ready to impact and slay the day. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Bye guys.